Hello gents, welcome into my channel. In this video we are going to see the top 5 functionalities of RGIS Pro that everybody must know. The very first tools or functionality let's say, it is the trace option. What is this trace option? So if I am going to create a new polygon which will share the same line of an existing one. I am capturing the new polygon command and uh, for for this line we we must capture all vertices one by one and for this case RGIS Pro has an option which is called trace and if we switch into the trace and we click in the first point depending on the side that we want to go we want to go through this side and we want to go until this point we just click here automatically RGIS Pro will capture all the points along this side this functionality exists in RGS desktop as well so it's not and now to continue the polygon I'm going to capture the line again and I can go back in normal digitizing tools I'm not wasting time to create the perfect polygon so this was the idea the second tool it is the append tool very quickly i'm going to create a new a new polygon feature class and uh, let's have a different color and let's create as well two polygons as i said before i will do everything quick so no no 90 degree corners just not to lose time and and the logic of this tool is that this tool can append the new data into existing one and i will go to general or you can search in the find tools append and the append data management is the first one and as an input data set we are going to choose text and as a target data set we are going to choose polygons our existing layer and as a field matching type we are going to choose to reconcile field differences i'm going to leave everything not matched and i'm just going to click around because my schema is totally empty but if you had any any information you can join field out there our two polygons are sorry i removed the wrong one our two polygons are abandoned in the existing one this tools is extremely extremely important if you are working with rgs online as well and if you want to send different data or different changes or daily updates this tool is going to save your day and the next functionality the next functionality is extremely easy probably everybody is using that and if you are new in RGIS space this is extremely easy and extremely important as well let's suppose that we have an id field for the new polygons i am adding numbers as well and uh, we want to fill this column with our information information that we want to not not something that we can find there are two ways one way is that you can just start typing another way is that you can right click in the field name and calculate field everybody knows the field calculator and uh, the powerful function that the field calculator has but however sometimes sometimes to create a function you may need a lot of time but excel has already functioned has already created everything and you you may feel very confident in the excel and what we are going to do here is we firstly we be sure that we have a unique id i have this id field as a unique id and i have nothing selected 0 of 12 and i will just switch selection and uh, i will click copy now everything that we see here is copied in my clipboard and i will open one empty excel i will right click here and i will paste so we have this 
this information that is exactly the same as here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ma manipulate here whatever I want and I will send them back in RGIS Pro. I'm going to remove the first two columns. And uh, for example, as ID, I need, I, I'm going to use as just MOV. Zero twenty, MOV zero twenty, MOV zero nineteen, and I will just go until the end from MOV zero twenty until MOV zero zero nine, and uh, I'm going to save us at our same directory but as a comma delimited file, CSV file, and I will. And I will be back in ArcGIS Pro and uh, I will click the add data. I will go at the same directory. I will refresh the data and we have the new folder here. What we saved. And uh, if we open the table, we see that the table is exactly what we modified in Excel sheet. And now we are going to bring this field into this field. To do that is very easy with the join function as soon as we have the unique ID as we said before and uh, we are going to choose the join table the our new table and uh, as an input join field the ID and as a join table field ID again which is one ID is from the polygon and one ID is from the new folder I will click OK now and there we are now we must send the data from this field into our existing field with fill calculator as well, of course. So we'll right click fill calculator and uh, I'm going to choose the test, the last test. We have one test, two tests, and uh, we can see very well the domain of this test, which is coming from the new folder and not from the polygons. And I will click OK. And now everything that was here was transferred into existing one. I will remove all joins and it's all done. So let's recap. This was a very easy process. You open the table of attribute. You make sure that you have one ID, unique ID. If you don't have, you can create it or you can use the feature ID. I like to have always a separate ID, but depends depends on on the persons. The per some some persons may use the feature ID and copy everything, send into Excel, modify, save as CSV file, bring them back, join, and bring the data that you want in the same table. And that's it for this task. Let's switch in the fourth one, which is extremely, extremely easy, but a lot of people may have forgotten this, this tool. We have a, a button here, which is called attributes. And if we open attributes, and if we click one polygon, we see the attributes of this polygon are out there. We see the geometry as well. I'm going to change it into metric. I like the metric style. And uh, we can modify every field that come here. So let's say this is house number five. And I click apply. Automatically, the selected feature was changed into house number five. And if we click the group of feature, let's say, we see that there are several feature clicked. And if we choose the layer name, which is polygons in my case, automatically we see that they have different values. And, and uh, now the type field of the selected feature, I'm going to update them from house into apartment. And I'll click apply. And I will click save. So everything that we have selected was changed only with one single option, not clicking field calculator and not messing it up with other function, just with this attribute functionality that is always there. Another thing is that we can select everything and I'm going to change the test that we updated from Excel as a date, let's say date 
format 12th of uh, March 2024 and I will click apply automatically the date is there updated for us and I will click save and everything is updated now the last tool that we are going to speak about there is one there is one tool that that is called white box geospatial these guys build softwares and open source as well so their last uh, their last toolbox let's say they they opened it for free for everybody and if you download their tools in your computer you will have a set of tools which are all for free and you can use them in your computer no matter of your license level for example i am going to use the extract nodes which in rgis pro this is a part of advanced license so i have a basic license i cannot have this uh, this tool and uh, if i choose the polygons my polygon feature and i want to extract the nodes i run ok and all the nodes are here extracted as you can see all the vertices are this was all guys for this video i hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next videos